UndergroundHipHop.com, live from the Pay Dues Festival, right about now. The most esteemed MC guest in the house right now, Devin the Dude. The album is in stores immediately, waiting to inhale. Bun B, Andre 3000, Lil Wayne, all that, man. Gotta cop that. Thank you for being on UndergroundHipHop.com, brother. I appreciate you having me here, man. Much love, much love, man. Now, let's go right in, man. There's a lot of a lot of new jacks that don't even understand your whole legacy and all that. Let's 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 go back a little. Take us back to uh, the early '90s when you hit the scene with the Coffee Brothers, the Odd Squad. Right. Hey, explain to the youngins what that was all about. Oh man, it was a lot of grinding back in the day, man. It was just a hobby at first, man. But we took it seriously, man. In like '92, we was grinding. Um, I met my homeboy Rob Quest at the TSU Talent Show. And then I called up my old school friend, uh, Jug Mug, man, and we just started grinding, making demo packages, man. It was all cassettes then, you know what I'm saying? But we just kept grinding and grinding and grinding, and, and, and suddenly, you know, um, eventually somebody got a hold to the see, uh, to the tape who gave it to Lil' J at Rap Alive, man, mm. and uh, he came by. And uh, came by the crib where we was working, man, while we was working, actually, man, and sat down and talked to us about it. And you had an you had up-and-coming DJ that eventually made a little noise. What was his name? Uh, DJ Screw, actually, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I he, heard of that, Cat. He, he was a DJ on the demo records. <laughs> Crazy. Now, now, when I listen to your music, I, I think of three things. Wine, woman, and weed. Is that something that, that you intentionally go into uh, to, to, to plant in the listeners' ears? What, what, what makes you emanate wine, woman, and weed? What's that all about? Oh, man, it seems like they just go together, man. I don't know, <laughs> man. All, all three of them, man, at the same time would be cool. But, you know, now back in the day, you know, we was real carefree, man, about what we was doing, man. And all we talked about and all we rapped about was what we was doing, man. Right. And that was what we were doing. We sit back and smoke, call up some hoes, man, and, right. you know, and just you know, get some drinks, you know. And, that's, and we'll kind of base some of the stuff that uh, some of the... the <clears throat> The seriousness right. around some of that too, right. you know. So it, when we when we when we take you out lyrically as far as getting serious with, with something, before we get too deep with it, we'll mention weed, wine, or, right, or a woman, right. you know, to kind of get right. straight from that, you know. I can relate, man. You, you did you did a very good job with that. Now you're so, you're somewhat of a quagmire because throughout your, your throughout your career, you've kind of be, been identified as the king of the underground, underground MC. You know what I'm saying? But 2007, you look at, at the so-called underground MCs, you're not quite talking about the same shit as they are, but, but still, Cats considered you, I mean, this is an underground festival. Right. Does that, how, how do you feel about that sort of label, underground MC? I mean... I don't know, man. The label is just a label, man. You know, people will label you, but, but you know, I don't, you know, I don't prefer being labeled. Man. I think music is, is music, man. Uh, a bow-legged Chinese woman in Africa right. could could appreciate some music, right. you know, that, that, that we do, man, and that's what it's all about, having, you know, just the music speaks for itself, not a, not a label, you know. Uh, I, I'm in, I like country music. I right. like reggae music. Right. You know, I like jazz. So, you know, there's no, uh, you know, there's, it's, it's rap is just rap. There's so many realms of rap, you know. So it's just it's it's out there for you to choose, you know, right. for your picking. You know? Now the first single, "Girls Gone Wild." Yeah, little girl gone, man. Little and uh, you got girls gone wild. You see, you see where my mind is at, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know what it is, man. We got Bun B and Lil Wayne on the track. Talk yeah. a little bit about that track. Oh, uh, for sure, man. We was at the studio, man, winding the record down, trying to mix it and master it. And um, I still had that song. The song was laying around for like eight or nine months, and man, I was like. I was asked, "What you gonna do about this record, man?" Yeah. I was like, "You know, it just had a hook on it, and and the hymns and hums and the yeah. melodies at the beginning." And then my homeboy Tony Mac, he had a he put a, a bridge on it, you know. And my homeboy Maximilian, he did the, the the melodic melodies behind the background, and it was just like that, man. And then and and I just wanted to just hear it, and I produced the beat. And I didn't want it to be all over the, the music. I wanted a collaboration of, right. of, of of stuff happening. And so Bun B was in the studio at the same time in a different room. Right. And he heard the track, and man, he blessed me with a verse. Crazy. And man, the people at the office shot a verse out to Lil Wayne. He got on it, blessed man, and it worked out. Right. That's what's up. Now, you have the attention of, of hundreds of thousands of prepubescent, pimple-faced, uh, sitting in the basement, computer cats. Any words of wisdom uh, that you want to impart uh, to the, our worldwide audience? Oh, man. Uh, tell you what, man. 
Uh, as far as advice right now, man, I'm, I'm pretty much out of it, man, because I've been fucking up myself, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not uh, the model right now to, to go by, man. Uh, don't beat your kids too hard. Don't wear Murray's wave grease during the show with the lights on. You know? Right. Uh, what else? I had I had another one, man. But uh, no, nah, but my, but if you had, if, <laughs> if if you love music and you, and you love the craft, man, and you want to uh, keep it growing and you know keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. Don't be afraid of any obstacles, man. That that's what they're there for. So you climb over and get to where you're supposed to go. Um, accept cr uh, constructive criticism too, man. Keep close friends and families around, you know, and you know just keep grinding. Understand what it is, man. Absolutely a legend in the game. The most humble cat you're going to meet, man. Devin the dude. Waiting to inhale. Cop that. Girls Gone Wild. Watching you, man. Thank you, Dev. Peace, man.